A good marriage must be created. It is never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say I love you each and every day. It is not just marrying the right person, it's being the right partner. In order to explain exactly why I want to marry Mark, I need to start at the beginning. So five and a half years ago, I just graduated from college and was not looking to date anyone at all. But then I had a friend who wanted to set me up with a friend. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and I thought he was cute and he did this really impressive thing where he would open my cider bottles with his elbow. So it's really cool. And so I agreed for a date. And you showed up in a cat shirt and you didn't question the fact that I wanted a date at a coffee shop when I didn't drink coffee. <laughs> and then you let me drag me down the street to rallies <laughs> where uh, we talked about everything in general, uh, mourn the death of Harambe, RIP. Uh, and then you let me, <laughs> yeah, anyways. So I couldn't believe uh, that you had never had their french fries, which is why we went to rallies anyways. And by the time it was midnight, we were still sitting there talking like six hours later. Brit. Whitney, small bucket, <laughs> had to get them all out there. <laughs> From the moment when we watched Llamas with Hats, where I awkwardly avoided you, because uh, you know I'm not awkward anymore, uh, <laughs> to our first date at Starbucks and rallies, where we spent literal hours eating fries and just talking, I knew you were going to be someone special in my life. Like, I can't really emphasize how much that first date meant to me. I knew you were gonna be special. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, does she look pretty? Yes. Do you like it? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you like it? I do. I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> And then that one date turned into weeks of texting constantly, staying up till four and the five in the morning, watching some really, really horrible movies <laughs> that I've already forgotten all the details because it's just not memorable. <laughs> because neither of us wanted to say goodnight. And then the time we were dancing in your living room to a breakup song on your record player because you liked the music and it had love in the title. But you never listened to the lyrics, you just wanted to do something romantic. It was really cute. And somehow, you look past all my awkward ramblings, uh, my love of god-awful B-sci-fi movies, <laughs> watch plenty of those, and continue to date me, which I'm forever grateful for. <laughs> over the years, we've bonded over Taylor Swift, The Office, which we've lost count for sure at this point, and just many other things. You've helped me through some of my most stressful years of life, college, figuring out who I wanted to be, and helping me get to my greatest potential. Not just academically or professionally, but even emotionally, you've helped me grow to be more confident in what I, I can achieve and, what, and have made me so much happier in my life. It hasn't always been easy, but the bad times have never really seemed that bad with you and they've been far outweighed by the good ones. And there isn't a day that goes by that I don't think about how lucky I am to have you in my life because it seems impossible that there's anyone out there that could understand me better than you. And I'm so lucky every day that you want to make plans with me because I want to make plans with you. It's also made me extremely happy to watch you grow in the time that we've been together and watching you become such an amazing woman. I'm so thankful to have someone like you to love and to grow with for the rest of my life. I will end on one thing that I want you to remember. Where you lead, I will follow <laughs> anywhere that you tell me to. <laughs> and if you need, need me to be with you, I will follow, oh, 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 where you lead. So, Mark Waldick, Here's my vows to you. I promise to be the ear you need to talk to, the shoulder you need to lean on. And originally I wrote something about being a compass, but I think we both know I'm bad at directions. So <laughs> that's 
probably more of a curse than a blessing. Uh, and probably most importantly to you, I promise here in front of our friends and family to not keep more than three cats in the house at any given time throughout our marriage. <laughs> but I reserve the right to be the alley cat still and you can't stop me. I love you. <laughs>